and here we got the final output of our application. This is the JSON data we are binded into the HTML table. See, this is the JSON data and this is the HTML table. We have converted the JSON data into HTML table using JavaScript. Let's write the code how to bind or populate a JSON data into an HTML table using JavaScript. So I want to convert the JSON data into JavaScript. Just for the time saving, I have created this simple HTML elements. Now, after the body tag, I'm creating one script to create the JSON data. So declaring one variable j constant JSON data, data is equals to between curly brackets. Let's close this one first. Now here the JSON data name, name is first Sharon here, comma, email, Sharon, Sharon at gmail.com, age, around 30. Comma. Let's copy this one. Just for the demo purpose, I am adding only three employee details: Charan, Vijay, Vijay at gmail.com. This is 28. Vijay is 28. Lalita. Lally, Lally at gmail.com and her age is 32. That's it. Now I want to populate this JSON data into an HTML table. So first let's create an HTML table between inside this body between the center tag. Let's define a table, table ID. I'm defining one ID of the table, my table. Let's add the my table. And after that, table header, t head, t head, table row, table row, th, name, th, a email. Second one is the email, and the third one is the age. These are the headers. After that, I require the body, t body. I'm closing the t-body tag. The t-body is a JSON data. I want to populate this into the t-body. So for that, I'm adding the JavaScript functionality. So come to the bottom. Come to the bottom. Constant table body is equals to document document and we go see document dot query selector query setup what is the query here the table inside this table i'm adding i'm populating this data no so between double quotes hash my table my table t body in the t body i'm adding what is t body this is a t body element then json data dot for each for each uh, let's define one person or employee let's add the person only person arrow function i'm creating arrow constant rows rows i'm creating document dot create element create element tr Table rows I'm creating. Table rows I'm creating. Let's close this one. Constant new cell name. Name cell. First I'm adding the name cell. Names I'm adding first. <coughs> name. Name. Name cell is equals to name cell document dot document we go see you document dot get element by id 
create element sorry create element document dot create element create element and the t cell i am adding td name cell dot text content is equals to the names we are getting from this json data no so json data dot name what is json data here the person so sorry person need the person dot notice here here i am getting the properties name row dot append child this name cell i am adding name cell name cell and now let's copy this one and now this one is the email cell email cell this email cell wherever the name cell i'm changing to email cell and person dot email this is the email cell again let's copy this one the last one we have the age cell age cell let's copy this one wherever we have email cell i'm changing to age cell and this one person dot age the property i'm adding that's it up to now we are now we need to append the body no sorry for that table body table body in this table body i want to append this all so append child row this row i am adding here this row that's it we have done the javascript function now let's add some styles here in the script style sorry style not the script style the first style i am adding to the table table i'm not adding much concentrate i'm not concentrating much on designing part border collapse is collapse and th td th and tds we have border uh, one pixel solid and the border color i am adding black color padding uh, eight pixels text align center and th the table header this table header background color i'm changing to background color is black and the color text color i'm adding to white that's it we have done the complete javascript functionality let's save this file let's check this json data file is binded to the um html table or not for that we need to open the file explorer the That's folder i have created in the e drive and the folder name is a javascript interview and this is the file name json data table let's check our table file name is a json data table let's browse the table and here we got the final output of our application this is a json data we are binded into the html table see this is the json data and this is the HTML table. We have converted the JSON data into HTML table using JavaScript. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Please subscribe, share, and leave your valuable comment. I'll catch you in my next video tutorial.